Here in the members, Rog, for another instalment of the Blues taking on the D's. Um, Blues not in the greatest of form. D's have won the last couple, but coming off the five-day break, are we in for another absolute ball fest? There'll be a kick in it, and this is where we're at our best, Carlton, where we're the underdogs, where we don't have the weight of expectation. Against the Cavs, against the Pies, all the talk is about the Blues. That's sort of been alleviated off us, so I think we'll perform today. I think you'll be warm. Um, I, I feel like the boys have been setting themselves for a little bit. You've got some good ins. Are you pumped about the ins? I am. Jackie Martin back. We've been crying out for Jack Martin and Jesse Mollop as much as I love my boy main event, Matty Owen. But Jack Martin's back. Uh, my boy Matt Kennedy is going to be in the guts with George Hewitt. So I have two boys, Matt Kennedy and Jordan Boyd. They're both out there prime time watching dominate. How are you going to stop J.Q. Lever? He's been in form in the comp, but he also likes to play against the baggers. He dominates the Blues because all we ever do is try and sit it on Charlie and Harry's head with long bombs every week. And if we can just lower the eyes and try and avoid him, I reckon that might be the play. We always sit it on Lever's head, we always sit it on Gordy's head. I reckon this is going to be an annoying arm wrestle. Not one, not a pretty one for the neutrals, given how crazy it is. I'm going to optimistically go the D's by 16. I'm going... The Blues by four points, Matt Kennedy, best on ground. I love how even at the elite level, the best of the best, before they run out to the MCG, they still do a bit of crisscross air balls to kick them off. Just like us, just like us down at the animals. Sam Miles kicks the first tag of the game. I've never seen... <laughs> I haven't seen our defence get sort of caught off guard like this. Maybe they might be caught off guard because Charlie's playing a lot higher and Harry's staying deeper. So Charlie's getting more involved in the play, which I love because he's got a brilliant shoot. Uh, the five-day break, D's in the wet. It's game over. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I went into this game so flat, but all of a sudden I'm starting to think about September again. <laughs> now and with the top tumbler and... Harry's taking a good mark. And it's, it's, called, it's called wet weather football, and it's why you blokes never win in the wet. Because you, you just don't, you got to hack it forward, play in front. It's stuff we teach other water park animals. Um, the last game I went to vlog, it was against Brisbane. And I put the vlog away at half time. And we're a real chance to put the vlog away at half time again. That will do. Quarter time in the G, and I, I want to go home. I said to you before the game, um, <laughs> you did. I literally, I said it multiple times, and I, was, I didn't say that I think this would happen, but I said, if we win by 40 points, we leapfrog you into the top four percentage. And I said that, um, I don't think we're a 40 point better team, but you know, a random result pops up out of nowhere. I hope this is a really random one. It's not a reflection on your season, it's not a reflection on ours, just a random one where we win by 40 points. And at a quarter time, it's 30 to love. If it goes the way it is at the moment, it'll be 120 to love at full time. <laughs> Um, worried about the five day break, not an excuse, but it is an excuse. We're worried about the five day break, and once it started precipitating, all the Melbourne supporters in the pub were saying, well, it's game over. And they've come out and kicked five straight in the wet. We're talking pit names, we're talking Mackay, we're talking Dakoni. Some big ruckmen and forwards kicking big goals from a long way out in these conditions is super impressive. It can't continue, it can't trend like this, can it? Well, you're going to get your turn, we know that, but are you going to be able to kick five straight? It's the wet. You're not going to get many chances, but you will get your turn. You want to kick straight, because if you do a little 2-3 job, then it'll be our turn again, and um, we might make the take. <laughs> That's a great result, an arm wrestling for eight minutes, still keeping you from scoring, and then we get the first or the second. That's exactly what I would have wanted. Uh, this is comical. Been all at sea with the forward line. I think it's a permanent-ish move to put Petrarca forward. Yeah, McGovern was on him, and he had position. He could have just put a big fist on it, and he thought, no, I'll let Track take this one and let him uh, get Melbourne on the board. Tracker goes forward and kicks two goals, one in the space of two minutes. He's just been taken off to the pine, which is really frustrating, because he's single-handedly Swung a little bit of momentum here at the G. I can't believe he's going for it. I cannot believe he's going for it. Main event, Matty Owen. Um, some people knock him. I personally love him on my football side because that's what he does. He does not miss set shots. He's trailed by 31 and a half time. I'm disgruntled. So I've pulled out all the stops to fly me back up. Hopefully that helps. Thanks, God, Chippo. Thank you, sir. No worries. Um, 31 points is the buffer. 
probably yeah. made some in grounds, but then coughed up uh, consecutive goals, which was frustrating. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping. Um, if you offered me a one point win right now, I would take it in a heartbeat. But like I've said, 40 point win plus gets us into the top four. So I'm whipping that home. Well, they're in pole position. Surely we can't be as bad as what we were in that half. Like, surely we can't go into this half and replicate that. I don't think I've seen us that bad. There's been a couple of times over the last couple of years I have seen us that bad, but it's very rare. Another little sideshow. I don't know the number now. It'd be in around 60, maybe even 70, not sure, games in a row where Charlie Turner sticks a goal. Yet to get a goal. Will this be the one where he finally misses out? Or will this third quarter be where he has his little three goal patch and just blows, the set, blows you out of the water? There's a fair chance he gets off the chain. Dragon kicks his third. The margin's too far, it's five goals. What was the margin at three at half time? Was it five goals? Yeah, I think it was five goals. But um, if Petraga wasn't playing, this would have been a lot more ugly. Yeah. Been a Carlton party in the third. Um, Kerno and the boys have got up the chain. But It's the same margin as what it was at half time, actually. I think we've been dead level. She's here, she's here. Petraka's been crazy, man. Uh, spotted up Fritter. Well done. Petraka kicks his fourth, gets it to 22 points. A little bit of life in the game. Probably should have been a mark. The government's been controlled it. The umpires just want to make it a close game because they're getting a big run. I like that by Razor Ray and the boys. Three quarter time. Petrarca made it a little bit interesting. <coughs> I'm nervous, mate. I'm nervous. Like, why? Um, what do you mean? Why? It's only four goals. It's only four than goals. More, but, more than, all you need to do is kick the first two, and then all of a sudden it's a 50 50 game. You know? Yeah, but then we're only halfway there. Like, it's just. It's, 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 if we kick four in two seconds, it feels like it wasn't that far, but four goals in a slog in the wet, it feels unimaginable. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still not convinced. I just We need to get over the line here. Um, yeah, I'm still seeding over that Mitch McGovern mark not paid. <laughs> what about Chera, that? Chera hamstring, disappointing. At least we bring on George Hewitt, sort of a like for like, but Chera has not been able to stay on the park yet. Injured left, right, and centre. What about the big um, ear massage machine, Pitney getting tackled by May, and then May gave him the people's yeah, elbow. Down the Dwayne the Rock, Johnson in plays the smack down on his candy ass. But uh, <laughs> nah, big Pitney, he's been one of our best tonight. I think he might have the chocolates over Max Gorn at the minute. Christian, Christian Petrarca is playing some sort of game. That's another goal assist. I think he's kicked four already. Got it to Van Royen. Consolation though for the boys. Not consolation, yeah. There's still plenty of time to kick, uh, what is it, four goals. Come on, boys. Give him a scare. Give him a scare. Now that's something we can hang our hat on, our hat on when we get on the train home. You Jack Viney, Desperado, Wayne Harms -esque. That was inspirational. He's long been my favourite player outside of my own football club and that's why he's relentless. Kept it in, wins a soccer. Nice little consolation for the boys. Madraka kicks another consolation, gets it back to seven points. I reckon there's like three minutes. Rodrick is there could be three minutes. Maybe it's game on here at the G. You said you'd take a one. 41, 41, 41. 41 seconds. You said you'd take a one point win. Fuck me. When, I, when, I, when I spoke to you during the third quarter, you're like, I'd take a one point yeah. win here. And I'm like, as if you've dominated, surely you'd, I would you'd take lick your lip to this, a 10 goal win. Fuck you'd, boy. You'll probably get your one point win. Fuck, why is this happening? You need one more stop. We need one more clearance. We've been the better side in the second half. They've just counter punched really well. Biggest clearance of the game. Break their hearts. Break their hearts. Get out. On the floor. 27. Time. There's time. Three times in a row, they've gotten away with murder. They disallowed our goal for a dangerous tackle, and they're gonna get away with it. They can't keep getting away with this. They can't keep getting away with this. We are I don't know 
why Petrarca was coming off with his head held high. He had a horrible. <laughs> he didn't put in. No, he didn't. He probably gets the three votes, I'd have thought. Maybe. Yeah, 100%. Two, Kripa, one, Walshie is what I would do. Nearly back to the car, Rog. I'm cold, I'm wet, it's freezing. We've been pipped by a point. Wrap up some final uh, thoughts, mate. Obviously, you'd be proud because you got the jump, you started well, and then throughout the game when we got on top in the slightest, you counter-punched and sort of, anytime we'd kick two, you'd kick two, we'd kick one, you'd kick one. Um, overall, how are you feeling? Yeah, it's a funny one where when the game was an arm wrestle, you know, we obviously had that first quarter, the game became an arm wrestle, and then when we felt we had a sort of unassailable lead in the last, we went into shutdown mode. And as it turns out, they were proven true because the lead in the end was unassailable, but just by a, a, such a bare margin, I'm not sure if we should do that, like be so quick to throw Charlie behind the ball. Maybe we should keep playing the brand of footy that got us five goals up. But look, mate, it was terrifying, but I'm just stoked to walk away with the four points. Well, you needed that. You were saying that your season felt like it was on the line. That You've lost three in the last four. I said at the start, everyone said at the start of the fourth stretch run where we had um, GWS, Collingwood, Geelong and um, Melbourne, we just, with our injury list, even though it's getting better now, we just needed to get out of that two and two. And here we are. We were two and one and we beat the day. So now we're two and two. So you sort of take that. Yeah, you take that for sure. Um, unbelievable effort by the baggers. The D's just brought a butter knife to a gunfight. They just didn't rock up for that first little patch and the Blues were way too strong. Their midfield looked bigger, their back line looked bigger, their forward line looked bigger. And uh, we just got to keep messing with the personnel to try and get the best 22 out there in the, in the near future. I still love you. Right, love your work, Rog.